everybody. Today we're talking about comparing decimals. First, we're going to talk about comparing cookies. What if I break these in half and I offer you the half on the left or the half on the right? Which would you prefer? I like cookies. I would rather have the big half on the left. So what's the point of all this? Well, the point is when we compare fractions or decimals, we want to start with same size items. Since these items are not the same size, we cannot compare them. Let's look at something we can compare. Here we have two equal size grids. They're both separated into ten equal size pieces. That means that each piece is a tenth of the whole. On the left, I have four pieces shaded, so that's the decimal four tenths. And on the right, I have three pieces shaded, and that's the decimal three tenths. So typically, we would just compare how much is shaded. We would see that one has more shading. But this is a little hard to see, so I'm just going to clean the one up on the right there by moving that over. And now you can see that the one on the left does have more shaded, and four tenths is greater than three tenths. Let's look at another. Here we have two fraction circles. They're the same size, and they're both separated into ten equal size pieces. And each piece represents one tenth. On the left, we have five pieces shaded. That's the decimal five tenths. And on the right, we have four pieces shaded. And that's the decimal four tenths. Now let's compare. Well, maybe a little hard to see, so I'm just going to clean that up a little bit and move the shading over. And now you can see that the one on the left does have more shaded. It is the larger decimal. And this is good to know in case it ever comes up in a cookie conversation. How about these two? They're both separated into 100 equal size pieces. So each little square is one hundredth of the whole grid. The one on the left has 38 of those pieces shaded, and the one on the right has 43 of those pieces shaded. So which one has more shaded? The one on the right, 43 hundredths is greater than 38 hundredths. Let's try another. On the left, I have the decimal of 55 hundredths, and on the right, I have the decimal 6 tenths. Well, 55 seems bigger than 6, but I can tell that more of the right side grid is shaded. So what's going on there? Well, if I chop this one on the right into the same number of equal size pieces, you can see that 6 tenths is the same as 60 hundredths. And now you can see 60 hundredths is greater than 55 hundredths. Now you can try some comparing decimals on your own.